What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 6 of tutorial series on deploying Flask application on the EC2 instance with Docker. In the previous tutorial, we had created the Nginx configuration file as well as the Docker file for Nginx. And now in this tutorial, we will update the Docker Compose file for the Nginx container or for running the Nginx container, right? So let's get started. So uh, this was our Docker Compose file and uh, this is what we are going to update in this tutorial, right? So as you can see, uh, we had defined Flask app under services. So here uh, we are going to define another service that is Nginx under services, right? So let's get started. So make sure you have correct indentation as it will throw an error, right? So it's going to be Nginx. Colon enter. It will be followed by the build command. So build colon. Here we have to give reference of the Docker file. So our Docker file is within the nginx directory, right? So we will say dot forward slash nginx. Now here uh, I want to add one more parameter that is container underscore name, right? So Basically, uh, what it will do is it will define or it will give the custom name uh, to the container uh, which it will spin up. So it's going to be container underscore name followed by the name that I want to give to the container uh, that is nginx in my case. And apart from that, uh, Docker container names must be unique and we cannot scale a service beyond one container if we have specified a custom name, right? So we cannot give same name to both the containers that we have. So it should be unique, right? So all we are doing here is we are just giving the custom name to the container, right? Rather than uh, the generated one or the default one so ideally it will generate something like the parent directory so in my case it's flask hyphen docker followed by uh, this service name uh, so it's going to be flask hyphen docker underscore nginx something like that right but now in this case it's going to give nginx as a container name right so moving along so here we will also require environment variable right it's because if you remember then in the previous tutorial while configuring this flask app dot configuration file uh, we had referred this dollar server underscore name right so this is basically referring to the environment variable so that is something we have to set uh, within the environment right so that's where docker compose will help in defining the environment variable so it's going to be environment colon hyphen environment variable name so that's going to be server underscore name so right now i will define o dot o dot o dot o uh, we will reconfigure this later uh, when we will run this docker compose file on the ec2 instance right so we will replace this o dot o dot o dot o with the public ip right so here we are defined uh, environment variable now here again, I want to add one more parameter that is restart. I will set it as always. Right, so what does it mean? So for example, the container stopped due to some reason and you want the container to restart on failure, for example, or maybe by mistake, the container was killed, right? Uh, then at that point of time, restart parameter will help to auto start or auto restart the same container right so it's going to be up all the time in case it's killed it will uh, restart the container right so when restart is set to always it will always restart the container or the nginx web server right so by default uh, the restart parameter is set to no but apart from always and no as a value of restart uh, you can also set on hyphen failure or unless hyphen stop right so that's restart and then uh, it will be followed by the network mode so that's going to be network underscore mode colon host right and we will save this file and i think we are done with this tutorial right so probably in the next tutorial we will deploy and run the same on the ec2 instance right so Till that time, stay tuned and 
If you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.